Today we have Amy Carlson, and she's a star on the show Third Watch. This is the type of home that our stars love to stay in. I started out by working with Jane Fonda. This was one of my first productions that I represented. It was a, a tour of Anything Goes. My name is Greg Latucci. I'm a cosmetic dentist. I've been practicing for 16 years here at uh, 230 Central Park South, and I love what I do. My partner and myself, Mark Lohenberg, um, we treat a lot of the celebrities, and they've been coming here for a long time, and I think, I think they enjoy being treated like regular people. I don't think they want to be treated any special way. They don't like to be brought up early. I mean, they don't come in disguise. They come dressed as they normally would dress, and... Uh, you know, we, tr we try and treat all our patients, especially, uh, not just the celebrities. Uh, today we have Amy Carlson, who just happens to be a celebrity. What a coincidence. <laughs> she happened to be coming today. And she's uh, a star on the show Third Watch. And she's been a patient here for about five or six years now. And also one of my favorite patients. <laughs> with a great smile. I'm an actress and teeth are really important. I mean, they're important to everyone, but especially as an actress, I'm hyper aware of, you know, not only the health of my teeth, but the cosmetics of my teeth. I want them to look good. I want to have a great smile. And I've worked in L.A. and I've worked in New York, but I mean, when I'm in L.A., I will fly back to New York to see Dr. Latucci because he's the best. I feel comfortable in his office and great staff, and he just does the best work. Great. Thank you very much. Uh, Cindy comes on a regular basis. She's one of my nicest patients. She's approachable, she's warm, um, cares about her teeth, which we like, and she's just terrific. Very often people who are born with such beauty um, also are fortunate enough to be born with beautiful teeth. Well, the practice was started in the 70s by my partner, Mark Lohenberg. And he had a patient who was in the record uh, business who sent him the Rolling Stones and Iggy Pop and Roberta Flack and a lot of people. And uh, then I joined the practice 16 years ago, 1985. And I had a patient, Sante Durazio, who's a very famous fashion photographer. And Sante um, sent me a haircut of Kevin Mancuso, who sent me Cindy Crawford. And also sent me Christy Turlington, Naomi Campbell, Elle McPherson, Claudia Schiffer, Kate Moss, Juliana Margulies, and Courtney Cox. We specialize in porcelain laminate veneers. So porcelain laminate veneers are a very thin fake fingernail of porcelain that bonds to the outside of the tooth. So doing porcelain veneers could, could totally change a smile. It can change the color of your teeth. It can change the shape of your teeth. It can make crooked teeth look straight. It can make spaces close. So it really, um, you can totally change a smile. I would say a lot of celebrities have porcelain veneers. Um, it's very rare that somebody will come in my chair and smile and just have gorgeous teeth that they were born with. That does happen. And there are celebrities that have teeth like that too, and they've been blessed to have teeth like that. But. Um, that's a rarity. You know, if I need a little bonding or, or different sort of cosmetic things, he, oh, he has a really good eye and it, and it's always, um, his work is always natural. It doesn't, uh, I mean, I had a tooth bonded that I had injured and can you tell which one? No. <laughs> a great smile is, is a white, healthy looking, natural smile. For me, a great smile is not a white, where'd you get your teeth done? There's too bright to be natural smile. You can, you can make teeth very, very white and they can still look real by putting things in the porcelain to let the light reflect off it so that it does look real. Isabella Rosalini, also very natural and, and it's, it's a great shot because it's shooting from underneath so you can see that her left central overlaps her left lateral, actually crosses over it and that lateral is set in, but it's still a, a, an incredible smile. I mean, I love this smile, even though it's not straight, even though it's not, you know, close to perfect, it's got a lot of imperfections in it, but she's showing a lot of teeth, they're white, um, the front two teeth are longer than the next two teeth, it has a lot of things that I like, and it has some things that, you know, 
if we were making a perfect smile, this is not how we would do it, yet it, it works for her. Renee uh, Zellweger has, very, uh, has a very, like a fun smile. I don't know if it's her lips. She has very full lips, and they kind of just envelop those teeth, and it, it just looks like she's having a good time. This shouldn't hurt at all here. Mm -hmm. I have some work done in Los Angeles that, um, and I actually came back to New York to have him redo it because I'm, I seriously can't recommend him highly enough. You know, and I've sent a lot of friends here who are also actresses and, and I see the work he's done. It's always wonderful. I love when a patient um, picks up the mirror and looks at the teeth that, that I've designed for them and breaks out in a smile or an oh my god or tears from the eyes, tears of happiness, not tears of sadness, we don't like that.